Hey guys, so today we're going to be taking a look at our baby silver fox rabbits. It's our first peek at them. Um, they're 10 days old today, so which is a great time to check on them. We're going to be moving them from here into this box just temporarily just so I can take a peek at them and get a proper count of them. Um, we're going to be checking their eyes and checking for crustiness in their eyes and making sure they're open because on day 10 their eyes should be fully open. So. We usually check on them um, a couple days after they're born, but we've been getting um, below zero temperatures the last couple weeks, so we've just left them alone so they can stay warm in this nice thick coat that their mom has provided for them, all this fur that she's pulled. So here's one and you can see his eyes are open. Now what we're checking for is for crust. Sometimes their eyes are crusty. And so you, at that point you can, we usually take a baby wipe and we'll wipe their eyes um, if there's any crusties and just check for redness. If there is redness, um, you, a lot of times you can take over the counter eye drops and just kind of put a few drops in them once a day until their eyes start to look a little healthier. But this little guy's eyes look great. His eyes are open. Look at him. Oh. <laughs> Hi. Our last litter of silver fox rabbits, we only got two black ones and one of them died. So we ended up with um, one black one actually. So it'll be interesting to see how many how many black ones we have. Their dad is black, has the black silver coat, so. And then mom is blue. We're just gonna kinda stick them in there. So we got one so far. Give them a little more. There you go, buddy. Their mom is a purebred silver fox. She's a blue dough and dad's a purebred silver fox as well and he's he has the black fur <clears throat> his eyes are still closed you see how they're closed and they're not they're not open at all neither one this one has a little bit of crusty crustiness in there so i will be taking a go ahead and grab a baby wipe so I just take baby wipes and this is um, the over-the-counter eye drops that we use um, and we'll just put those in if their eyes are red. If they're not red, we don't really use them unless it looks like they are about going to get an infection. Um, but as of right now, hey buddy. So I'll just, oh, no, nope, his eyes open. Yep. So you're doing good, bud. I am going to wipe this one though. Yeah. So not too bad. So that one's fairly healthy too. So that's two. There you go. Put you in there. They're sniffing out their new box. They move around quite a bit at this age. It's, it's amazing how fast they grow. Mom gave you guys lots of fur. Oh, another little black one. Hi. Look at your eyes. Yep, looks like both those eyes are open. This one. You open your eyes, honey, little guy? Oh. This one looks like it's sealed shut a little bit, so. I'll have to keep an eye on him. That's okay, we'll check on you tomorrow. All right, so two blacks and two blues. Oh, 
Yep, your eyes are open. No crusties. Very good. Yeah, when they're born, they don't have fur, so they, they get fur very quickly. They're fully, as you can see, they have all the fur already on day 10. Both eyes are open on that one. So that's five. Yep, five. Ooh, this one's kind of scrawny. There's always a scrawny one in the mix. Hello. Hello. So both eyes are open on him. See how scrawny he is? He's a lot, a little thinner than the other ones. Six. Both eyes are open. Number seven. I think that might be it. Yep, that's it. And they're all healthy too. Yep. Wow, she makes a really good nest. So all together, the litter that she had was nine. We already lost one because of the exposure and being dragged out of the box. So we have eight. Which isn't too bad. Here they all are. Alright, so we're just going to stick them right back in there, in their nest, and give them back to mom. Everybody looks good. We got a nice, decent sized litter. Amazing how fast they grow. So we did have, we did lose one the other day due to a lot of times the kits will be nursing and the mom will they'll latch on and the mom will hop out and sometimes the kit holds on and ends up being dragged out of the nesting box so and the moms unfortunately the moms aren't able to get the babies back into the nest themselves so there's really nothing the the moms can do about it at that point once they're out so and we think that's what happened the other night because we did find a a baby on the wire and ended up passing away because of the cold so we did lose one so we had nine but we ended up with eight look at all that fur all right so now we're going to go check on our second litter Okay, so I'm going to give mom back her babies. And I'm also going to show you mom. I know, I'm sorry. 
So this is mom. This is her second litter and she's been a great mom. She pulls a ton of fur and she takes really good care of them. Hi. She's really sweet. You good mama? You go take out your baby? And that's about it. Now I am gonna go. We have another litter and they're actually a Silver Fox Rex Cross. So I'm really curious to go check them out and we'll be back. So in the winter time, we put up a piece of plywood because of the winter temps to keep the wind off of them. It's just a little extra protection. Um, there's wire right underneath of it. So in the springtime, we'll be taking this off. But that's why that's there, just to give them an extra protection from the wind and keep them a little warmer. Okay, so this is our second litter. So we're basically just gonna do the same thing. We're gonna check their eyes and count them. Now, mom is a purebred Rex and dad is a purebred Silver Fox. Now these guys are eight days old. They were born right after the first litter. So their eyes aren't gonna be, probably not gonna be completely open at this point, but I just wanna check and count them and <clears throat> just see how they're doing. There's the first one. Eyes are not open. It looks fairly healthy. Oh, this one's chubby. <laughs> You've been eating good. Eyes aren't open. They will be in a couple days though. <laughs> they have the white bellies. Oh. When they're born, they don't have any fur, but they get it. They get fur very, very quickly. Oh, this one's eyes are open. Yep. You can kind of see. I don't know if you can see that too well, but. one and this one's eyes are open as well so it looks like we got six from that litter and they all look very healthy all right so I'm just gonna put them back right back in their their box Once they start getting bigger and hopping, um, hopping around and moving around more, we will be transferring them to this box 
so they have a better chance of, so it's easier for them to get back into the box. all of them so then you just cover them up back up with all their mom's fur and we'll give them back to mom I'm sure she's anxious since it's her first time her first litter so we'll get those back to her so this is our buck that we use to breed for both of the litters that you just saw um, my son named him Earl so his name's Earl and he's a black silver fox. Beautiful fur. He has the silver tint on the tips of the, the fur. It's beautiful. Um, we do have another buck, um, but he's not old enough to breed yet. So we've just been using, using him right now. So I just put the box back in and I just want to introduce you to mom. This is their mom. She's a little shy. But this is her first litter and she's about seven, seven or eight months old right now. So I'm gonna put her back in. She wants her babies back. <laughs> now she's just gonna check out her babies. And that's about it. That's checking the, checking your baby kits at about 10 days old.